Hello, today we are going to talk about how to register your Solar Edge monitoring portal so that you can monitor your new solar electric system from the web or from your smartphone or tablet. First thing you're going to do is check your email and look for the email from do not reply at solaredge.com that says registration to Solar Edge monitoring portal. Inside that email, you will notice that your email address is there, make sure that it's correct, and a link to click to register. You can also copy and paste this link into the address bar of your browser if the link doesn't work. So click on the link, it will bring you to your registration page. Enter the information requested. The stars indicate required items. You're going to put your name, your email address should already be filled in, your phone number, your preferred language, and your password. You pick any password you want and then confirm your password. You pick your system units. Uh, most likely you'll be choosing Imperial. I recommend viewing the terms and conditions. Here they are, if you can speed read. And once you've done that, you can go back and you can choose whether or not to get emails from SolarEdge and you can acknowledge that you've read the terms and conditions. Hit the continue button and you've successfully created your account. You can from here return to the login page And the login page will look like this. And you would enter your username and password. Now, if you need to get to the website, it's monitoring.solaredge.com. I recommend saving it as a favorite or a bookmark by dragging it into your favorites bar for easy access. And here you'd enter your username, which is just the email address you use to register, and your password. And then you'll hit the login button, and it'll bring you to your SolarEdge monitoring dashboard. What you'll see are three tabs up top, dashboard, layout, and admin. The dashboard layout is this first screen, you should have your name up top there and your system size. And what you'll see is a graph that displays your current power, your energy today, energy this month, lifetime energy, and lifetime revenue. As long as, as well as a graph with a day, week, month, and year display of the amount of energy your system's made. You can also use the navigation buttons down below to navigate back and forth and see a month to month comparison. So you can see what your system is producing compared to the month previous or the month previous or the year previous. What you're going to see on here, this next tab, the layout tab shows you the layout of your panels on your roof so you can see each individual panel and what it's producing. This is an energy number here, watt hours you can see, and you can see the energy that the inverters made in kilowatt hours. This is a daily number as shown on the, the tab up there, it's daily. Now you can show the actual playback over time in the daily and weekly modes not monthly or yearly, only daily and weekly. You can hit the play button or you can use the slider bar. And what you'll be able to see is the panels turning on as the sun comes up. And in this case, we're in power, which is in watts, not kilowatt hours or watt hours, which is energy. And so what you can see is each of the individual panels should be producing fairly close to what the neighbors are producing. The panels do have a 
uh, up to a plus five percent power tolerance, meaning panels could be producing five percent more than their nameplate rating, so they're not going to be exactly the same. The bar on the left also allows you to see the individual panels and info for them, or the inverter as well. Mostly you're not going to need any of this info. If you have any issues, you'd give us a call and we would take a look at it. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to show you how you would compare what the data says on your SolarEdge dashboard to what our predicted energy production was for your system. This is just to make sure that the system's doing about what we were telling you it should be doing on a monthly basis. So we'll send you a production estimate sheet that shows you your estimated annual energy production for your system and a graph that shows you your energy production versus your consumption estimates. And you can see that the month of August is pretty close to 600 kilowatt hours estimated. And you can go back to the SolarEdge dashboard and see that in the month of August, this system made 695 kilowatt hours, making it operating above our estimated production numbers which is A-OK -okay with us. If you do have any questions about your system production, feel free to give us a call and we'll gladly take a look at the monitoring and make sure everything is operating as intended.